Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another object competition video but before we get on to today's competition guys like always we need to go over the results of the previous competition and that was the Proto Mars competition so looking at the results here it looks like Pumpkin scraped in with a victory by one point he got four votes everyone else got three and two it was quite a widely spread um, voting on this one. Uh, there's lots of different people getting voted for. So yeah, well done to everyone there. Uh, thank you for everyone who submitted for that one as well. But yeah, here is his object here. As we can see, it's looking a little different to uh, the way it did in the previous video as the game has had an update which has changed atmospheres drastically. So as we can see, um, it's looking really crazy. But there it is. So if you want to see it in all its glory, check out the previous episode. But yeah, well done to uh, Pumpkins for taking the victory on that. But without further ado, Let's move on to today's competition. Okay, everyone. So, moving on to today's competition. The grand finale of Object Competition Season 4. Happy Christmas to everyone. We are doing the Christmas-themed Object Competition. So, all objects Christmas-themed. We've got a Christmassy background. With that fair ado, let's get into this. So, let's open up the menu, see what you guys have submitted. We've got 10 submissions for today's video. So... Without further ado, let's see what you guys have prepared for us here. So, competition. Let's go ahead all the way down here. I still got last year. I think I still got last year's Christmas object. Yeah, I do. From the previous Christmas, we got the predecessors there. And then this year, we got the new one. So, here is our list here. So, kicking it off, I have a very, very special submission this time. As I've been in contact with the Universe Sandbox team themselves... And a massive thank you to Brent from the Universe Sandbox team as he sent in a submission for the competition. So without further ado, let's see what he has submitted here. So here it is. Okay, so this is yeah from Brent, one of the one of the Universe Sandbox team members. So yeah, one of the guys who knows all about the game and all of the secrets and all of the programming and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, massive thank you to him for sending this object in. So he gave us a um, a little description as well. So, he said for this object here, so Christmas Mesa, um, Hatable Earth-like planet without large life forms. Volcanoes at the planet's North Pole spouted water to form the frozen poles. Okay. So, they'll be up the top here. Awesome stuff. Okay. So, uh, creating a frozen polar cap. Over time, the water that came up from underground also formed a water-based atmosphere, tinted red due to the additional dust and particles consistently erupting from the northern volcanoes. Okay. The atmosphere formed um, allowed forms of algae and mosses to cover the planet, uh, the green, which is the green area, yeah, um, as well as the snow to fall on the much larger, higher elevation regions. The red colour in the surface comes from iron in the crust. Awesome. So there you go. So if you look carefully, you can see the reddish areas in this, sort of this area here. It's that very sort of faint red. You can also see the reddish atmosphere as well. I mean, I think the background may make it a little more challenging to see, but you can see it is a red atmosphere here. Also, we've got the new ray um, scattering thing, so it'd be a little harder to see. If I turn it down, there you go, there's a little better view of the red. So, there you go. So, that is from Brent, one of the Universe Sandbox team members. So, a massive thank you to him for uh, sending this object in. Much appreciated, and it's glad you can be part of it. Really, really good stuff. So, next up, moving on to the next submission. So, we've got Emerald Neo's object here. So let's go ahead and place that right here. So here we are, Emerald Neo. Okay, it's looking pretty Emerald-like as well. So let's go ahead and move to his description. Okay, so Chris Met is a planet orbiting a star very far away from Earth. Every year, Santa decorates the dark half of this planet with festive white and green lights. Whoa! Whoa! Ho, ho, ho! Okay, we're getting creative. Wow, we that's very creative. Okay. Um, festive white and green lights and loads up his uh, space sleigh with the gifts before travelling to Earth. The red and green colour scheme of the planet and its naturally festive inhabitants are what led to Santa to live here. Oh, that's so cool. So there you go. Happy 23. It's got little fireworks, Christmas trees, snowflakes, more fireworks there and another tree. And there's the city lights as well. Looking great. Let's have a little look underneath the atmosphere as well. So there you go. Nice mix of red and green there. Very festive looking indeed. Looking good. So there it is there, Emerald Neo's object. So there you go, there's the uh, colours in the daytime as well. That's so cool. Hey, so there you go. Looking good. So there's Emerald Neo's. Okay, awesome stuff. Next up we have got from Chris. Let's see what Chris has got for us here. Okay, whoa, oh, this is looking fancy. Right. Oh, wow, oh, okay. 
Right, let's see what Chris has sent for us. Okay. Merry Christmas to you on a good, healthy 2023. He hasn't put any other description. So here it is. It's asked for ours to check out. So as we can see, nice glowing white, light blue um, lights there. As we can see, the oceans are looking pretty interesting. The atmosphere does look very funky as well with that green and red sort of look to it. That is really weird. I'm guessing that's all to do with the new settings. There's probably some really creative things you can make here if you mess around with these settings a lot. It's pretty cool. Okay. Nice stuff. Let's have a look underneath the atmosphere in the clouds as well. See what we got. So there it is there. Whoa. Now that is fancy. Okay, what is that all about? Oh, wow. I didn't even notice this giant area down here. So that's all. See the. I'm guessing these glow in the dark as well. Let's have a little look at it. Let's move it around. Oh, it does glow. Hey, look at that huge glowing area. That's so cool. So there we are. Excellent. So as we can see, yeah, that's all surface. That is an ocean. That's all surface. The water is um, switching it on and off. You can barely see any water. So, okay. Very, very fancy stuff. That is very interesting. Okay, so there it is. Looking good. Awesome. Okay, so next up we have got this object here. So this is from Chen Sitch. Let's see what they prepared for us today. So let's go ahead and place that in there. So Chris Massey from Chensich. Okay, here we go. It looks like it's got some... Uh, hey, it's also got some uh, drawings on it. Hey, so we've got two people going with the trend. That's cool. It looks like it's like a snowflake crater. Look at that. The Christmas tree design. That's, that's really cool. Look at that. Okay, so let's have a little look around. Let's take that all off. Let's see what he sent for his description. Chensich. Happy, or happy almost 2023. Law. The year is 2080. Humans launched their first probe to an interstellar system. They came back with the first image of an exoplanet just in time for Christmas. The planet was tidally locked but icy and had red vegetation and greenish oceans. It actually also had Christmas tree figures, uh, peninsulas and rivers too. Rotate to its back please when you finish through in the front. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, sir. So, yeah, there's Chen Sitch's object. So you can see the Christmas look on this, like, front crater. He said it's tidy locked as well. As you can see, the green area, this is also what would face the star. And then behind, it's all the frozen area. But as we can see here, oh, in the daylight, you can, uh, sort of hidden in the ice. But there you go. So let's just move it around again. So there's a good look of it. So it's got, it's got a reindeer, a present, a star, fireworks, Christmas trees. There's even a Christmas sock in there. 2023. That's fantastic. Look at that. And there we go. I really like that front crater. That is a really cool design. That, thumbs up. That is really, really cool. So there we are. We're getting some very unique designs so far. Every object is just so unique in its own way. Okay, next up we have got Endy's object here. Christmas planet. So there we are. Alrighty. So here it is. Let's see what Endy's has sent for us here. Okay. Merry Christmas, Neptunian guy. Merry Christmas to you too. So here's Endy's object. He didn't give any other descriptions, so here it is. Red oceans, green land, very, very fancy. White city lights, got all the Christmassy colours going on there. Very, very nice indeed. So a proper Christmassy looking world there, all the colour scheme. The nice white atmosphere to go on top as well. So looking good. Okay, next up, we have got Nick of Bean, and this one's looking really wild as well. Okay. Whoa, Nick of Bean, look at that. Oh, wow. Okay, Nick and Bean, what have they given us? Merry Christmas, Neptunian man. You too, and to everyone. Make sure to check if the atmosphere is on. I'm traumatised from the previous competition. So apparently, I guess, ah, oh, no, one of his objects must have, his object must have uh, appeared wrong then. Ah. So the atmosphere is switched on. There's clouds and atmosphere together. So you've got the nice blue look, the red glowing objects. They are glowing. Hang on, if we rotate it round, does it all glow? Oh, it does. Oh, yeah. Check that out. That's pretty cool. So it's got the star. That's looking fantastic. There we go. Okay, Nick of Bean. Nice. Next up, we have got Pluto Neon. Let's see what they have got for us here. Okay, here it is. It's got a crater. A really big crater. Look at that. Looks almost reminds me of Mimus. Check that out. Okay, so Pluto Neon, what has he said? Okay. Uh, for some reason, my planet file is too big for Discord. It's over 8 megabytes. Okay, so I'm using the link instead. Okay, um, make sure you view it in surface illumination mode. Okay. No oh, worries, surface illumination. There you go. Looking good. And he hasn't given us any other description. Uh, look at it from every angle, especially the poles. Okay, there you go. 
So we can see we've got a North Pole there, looking good. And then the South Pole, again, got a nice little area down there as well. Obviously, a lot of areas of white, red, and green all over. Got the giant crater there. That's definitely the highlight of this object to me. If we have a look underneath the atmosphere and clouds, that is what it looks. So you can see it's got like a yellowy sort of water to it. And that's what it looks like there. So we got, oh, it's got another, oh, it's got a, like two more big craters. Check that out. Okay. Looking good. And obviously the craters are filled in with a bit of ocean as well. Nice mix of land, ocean, sea. Yeah, I like it. So obviously you've got snow around the craters as well. Highlighting the elevation areas. That's cool. I like that. That big crater is cool. So there we are. Okay. Next up, we've got Santa's Planet. So who's this from? So this is from Minor Bat. Okay, here we go. And he's also gone with the, the sort of graffiti look to his planet. Hey, oh, oh wow. Happy 2023. Oh, wow, we. Okay. Let's see, did he give us any description? Okay, so here we go. That's really, really cool. Nice. And so this was Minor Bats, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Minor Bats. Okay, so Minor Bats description. This is the planet where Santa lives. It is located somewhere at the North Galactic, uh, at the Galactic North Pole. Santa's city is located at the planet's North Pole and inhabited by elves. A long runaway allows the reindeer to reach escape velocity so that Santa can go to Earth. The planet itself is covered in snow and forest filled with Christmas trees. There is also a lake filled with hot chocolate. Oh, wow. I'm guessing that's it there. Hot chocolate Christmas lake, that is so cool. Oh, there's another Christmas tree. Look at that. Hey. That's really cool. Uh, let me go back to... Um, just go back to directional. There you go. Yeah, like, look how cool that looks. Well, it's got like orange and blue sort of glows to it that's really cool ho 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 that's the runway he's talking about from the north pole the right the runway so they have escape velocity to leave the planet look at that he's got like a proper runway merry christmas happy new year smiley for yeah look at that christmas tree got the hat as well wow that is so cool okay okay so the planet itself is covered in snow and forest okay so we already read that bit um during um, that lake is also a hot chocolate. During this spare time, the elves like to decorate the planet, so there are various Christmas and New Year themed decorations everywhere. Especially the dark side, the planet is worth visiting. So, they have created the largest firework display ever. And there you go. Look at that. That's so cool. Very nice indeed. Okay. Next up, we have got a gas giant. This is from Ashley in Discord. Oh, big object right here. It is. And they've gone with a nice. Christmassy looking gas giant. You can't go wrong with that. Looks great. Oh, I do I do like the colours. That is a really nicely designed one as well. I mean, we'll compare it to last year's ones, actually. Look, we got a few of last year's uh, gas giants. So just a quick view to the past. There's some of the previous gas giants from last year's competition. So, yeah, where does that stack up, you think? i got to say that was a good looking one. So, there you go. So we've got the old, old competition objects here. But yeah, there we go. So let's just remove those. So yeah, I like it. Um, for comparison reasons, we will make it smaller. Just so it can fit in with one. No, no, don't make it bigger. Uh, slow down. There you go. Hey, so let's move it, uh, move it over. There you go. So we've turned it into a gas dwarf as well. But yeah, there you go. So nice. That's a good looking world. I like it. Nice greens, reds. It all blends nicely together as well. It's a good looking planet. I do like that. Okay, and then next up we have got... The final object from Sa Phoenix. Let's go ahead and place it in here. Okay, so they've got a, a really big description for us to read. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, okay. That's a huge description. Okay, so this is Tundrail, also known as Algol, um, that's eight, or by its native name, Tundrail. Okay, as its name suggests, it is a Tundra planet. It is 60% the mass of Earth and 85% its radius, giving its gravity 83% as strong as Earth's. It's surrounded by four rings, sea below, and it has three moons as well. Okay. It orbits a yellow dwarf algal that is 95% as mass as the Sun um, at 1.15 AU every 462 Earth days. Okay, so he wants rings added. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so we need four sets of rings. This is pretty wild. Okay. Rings, kilometers, yes, please. Okay, so he wants so about 7200 to 7800. Okay, enter, add ring. 
Uh, there you go. Oh no, it changes uh, kilometers. Okay, 7200 to 7800. Voila. First ring, done. And then he wants 8600 to 8900. There you go, second set. Then 12,700 to 12,900. Add ring. And then lastly, 13,200 to 14,800. I've rounded those numbers up as well, but there you go. That is his object. So he's got the rings with it as well. Looking good. Very nice indeed. So two sort of closer rings and then two further rings. Very nice indeed. Okay. That's a cool view of it with the glow background behind. Nice. Okay, so... Due to being further from Algol, which is smaller and dim in the sun, the uh, its average temperature is lower than the Earth's, so at just minus 5 compared to Earth's 15. As such, large ice caps cover about half the planet. The remaining tropical band around its equator has a much milder climate than Earth's and the hottest regions resembling Earth's Mediterranean climate. So think Spain, Italy, or Greece, or Southern California. It's home to a race of avian aliens called the Tundrians. Due to its smaller size, it never experienced a KT extinction event. So instead of the age of Xenodinos ending abruptly, they continued to evolve and became sentient, the Tundrians. As such, their autonomy resembles more of a modern-day birds than humans. They progressed through the tech tree, was accelerated due to the rings around their home planet, though their efforts to become space were hampered by the very same rings. Okay, they speak a language that resembles the Slavic languages. Okay. So, oh my god. So he's also put a very, very crazy translation here, which stands for Welcome to Tundra and Merry Christmas. Cool. Nice. And he also sent like little pictures of uh, the things as well. That's pretty cool. So that's cool. I really like that. So very, very cool description. Got the rings as well. So it's basically got dinosaur-like creatures that were never wiped out. And they eventually evolved to become sentient. So very cool. So let's have a little look underneath. There it is there. So it's quite an ocean heavy well. Got lots of green areas. Looks like it was a texture of maybe Venus originally. And you can see a few. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't think it is actually. But yeah, there we are. So a nice mix of all different objects in there. Or colours I should say. The greens and the white shades. Looking good. And obviously blue oceans as well. Can't go wrong there. So there we go. We've got the clouds and the atmosphere to boot with it as well. So there we are. But there we are. That does it for our Christmas theme competition. So what do you think of the lineup here? This is going to be a wild one. Who is going to come out on top here? This is every object is unique in its own way. None of them look similar at all. Every single one is unique in a different way. It's really, really cool. Oh, look at Chris's one now. We didn't see that view earlier. Look at that. Hey. So very, very glowy. It's got like all like rings of colour around it. Well, like the white. That's really cool. But um, yeah, there we go. Let's have a little look behind them as well. You can see the glow. Look at that. I mean, these two are just insane. Look at that. That's so good. So the really glowing uh, areas behind that is so cool. But yeah, there we are. So a massive thank you to everyone who has sent their objects in for today's competition. Merry Christmas to you all as well. Massive thank you for participating. And yeah, this is the finale of object competition. So we'll do one more video going through the highlights of the whole season. And then we'll have the results for this competition included in that video as well. But... As for 2022, this is the final object competition and the final one of the season. So this is season four of object competitions. So that's season four signing out. And yeah, a massive thank you again to everyone who has participated across the whole season. It's been a lot of fun doing these. I hope you guys have enjoyed me checking them out as well. Um, and may the best planet win with this competition. So yeah, again, a massive um, good luck to everybody for this competition. And with that all said and done, Merry Christmas to you all. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.